Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and New York Toy Fair is only one day away, and Microsoft just announced today that they're signing a new deal with Mattel to produce a bunch of new Halo action figures, guns, Mega Bloks, and all that kind of stuff. So, they said that Mattel will now be the master toy license holder for Halo, and this makes me kind of think, I don't know if McFarlane will still be making toys. Uh, I assume they will be, and I hope they are, because I would like to have those and these. But I'm going to be talking about all the new figures. There are some 6-inch ones, some 12-inch ones, some weapons, and even a Warthog. So I'm going to be talking about all those and the prices, and I won't be talking about the Mega Bloks. That's the only thing I won't be talking about, but I will be talking about everything else, including the weapons. So I'm going to give you guys a full rundown, so let's get to it. Okay, first is the Boomco Halo UNSC MA5 Blaster, aka the Assault Rifle. So there have been lots of Boomco Blasters, and this one's going to sell for $50, and the description reads, One of the most iconic go-to weapons for choice of the Master Chief. Includes true-to-game features, rapid-fire action, interchangeable clips, and extra quick-lip storage in stocks. Its speed, size, and quick-lip compatibility make it a must-have item. So this looks pretty cool, it's red and white, it looks pretty similar to most of the Boomco stuff, and I think it'll be really cool, I definitely may pick this up, just cause it's, it's nice to have kind of a life-size assault rifle, not life-size, but for like our size, cause Spartans are ginormous, but it'd still be really cool and I think this will be a really cool weapon. Alright, next is the Boomco Halo Brute Spiker, which is going to be selling for $20. Featured in the upcoming Halo Wars 2, and includes the Quick Lip System, designed not to jam, for quick fire action and rapid reloads. Comes with authentic, intimidating brute spiker blades, and includes 6 dart quick clip and 6 darts. So, I think that's really cool since it comes with the extra darts. The spiker is a really awesome weapon that I wish they'd hurry up and put in Halo 5. Looking at the picture, it looks really cool, it looks pretty authentic. It doesn't look the same colors, but it makes sense because they're trying to make it more colorful, but the shapes and the design does look pretty authentic. And it's also cool that they mentioned Halo Wars 2, which obviously we'll be seeing at E3 this year. So that's just really cool, and I like that this is only $20, not as much as the Assault Rifle, and it'll be really cool to have a Spiker. Alright, this next figure is kind of two figures, it's a Warthog and a 12-inch Master Chief, which, was, which will be selling for $50. And it says, step into the Halo universe with this Warthog, Deluxe, Vehicle, and Figure. Recreate epic missions with UNSC's primary ground transportation vehicle at epic scale, complete with a rotating weapon turret to fit your favorite Spartan or Covenant figures. And it also includes a fully articulated, removable 12-inch Master Chief. So I think this is really cool. It's fine. We haven't really gotten lots of vehicles since like the days of the Halo Reach um, figures, the McFarlane ones, which... Those have obviously just started going away, but looking at it, you can kind of tell that it's, like most of these, it's more cartoonish, or more toyish. I'm not the biggest fan of the way Chief looks in this, um, but I think the Warthog will be really cool, and I feel like he will look better um, when he's in the turret, rather than just the pictures they show. By the way, all of these will be shown at Toy Fair tomorrow, so I'll be covering that if there's new pictures, and if you guys want to see that. Also, if there should be McFarlane stuff, and there should also be uh, Play Arts Kai figures, so... Lots of Halo uh, action figures, but I do like the Warthog, and I think Chief will look better inside of it, um, just when he's inside of the turret, but overall I think it looks really awesome. Alright, now there's the Halo 6 inch figure assortment, figure assortment, which I assume will be, it says $20, so $20 for each. All new 6 inch collectible action figures series brings the Halo universe to life. More than 30 points of articulation in each figure in a highly poseable form. Each figure includes mix and match armor suit and one to two iconic interchangeable weapons so you can customize your figure for battle. So obviously these are a little bit more expensive than the McFarlane ones, but that makes sense because I believe the McFarlane ones are either like six inches or a little bit shorter because I know they like different sizes, but these are all going to be a solid six inches and they, they'll be able to interchange weapons and armor, which I think is really cool. You could make some cool combos and assort assortments with the Spartans. So I'm going to show you guys the pictures. So we have an Elite <clears throat> Zealot is the first one, which I think he looks pretty cool. By the way, like I said, all of these do look a lot more cartoonish <clears throat> and toyish, so they look more like toys, but I think they will still be cool to pose if you like doing that with your figures. So we have a Zealot Elite with an energy sword. We have Locke, who I think looks really good. Um, with his battle rifle, Linda, who they've already like announced, and McFarlane has yet to even say something about, with Norn, it, 
it looks like it's supposed to be Norn Fang because it has the yellow, but it also isn't brown, so I assume they're trying to do Norn Fang. Um, then we have Chief with his Assault Rifle. We have an Air Assault Spartan with a Hydra and a Helio Skrill Spartan, which is something I've really been wanting. I'll definitely be picking that one up just because it's Helio Skrill and probably the Linda with a Needler. So all six of them, I think, look really good. Um, I gotta say, I'm most excited for Linda just because we haven't had a Linda and that Helio Skrill because that's one of my favorite armors in the game. Um, <clears throat> I just think they all look really good and I can't wait to see them on display tomorrow. Next is the Halo Ghost Vehicle, and another 6 inch figure that comes with it. This will be selling for $30, so $20 cheaper than the Warthog. Um, so this says, step into the Halo universe with this Ghost Vehicle and 6 inch Elite Officer figure. Includes highly detailed 6 inch figure with removable weapon and armor. So I really hope tomorrow when they show these, they'll show how like much you can change the vehicles, or ch not the vehicles, the armor and weapons, and I really want to see what they'll show off. but. Obviously it comes on a stand and I think this will be really cool because really the only ghost we've gotten besides like some other brands have been the McFarlane one um, that came out like I think that'd probably be like five years ago now but I do have that one and I think that looks really cool but this will be like a cool kind of figure piece and an elite officer is really cool and it has a weapon on the back as you can see and the stand everything just looks cool on it and I think it's a pretty good deal for $30 I just can't wait to see it on display. Then we have the Halo 12 inch figure assortment, which these figures will be selling for $10 each, so a little bit cheaper than the 6 inch ones, because obviously they're a little like less quality, they're bigger, they, uh, they won't have as much articulation, but it says, step into the Halo action with, this all, with all new 12 inch figure assortments. Each figure stands 12 inches tall and includes 15 points of articulation instead of the 30 points that the other figures had. Each figure includes, includes one iconic interchangeable weapon that can store on the back of the figure an authentic game inspired design based on the characters from the Halo universe. So for the 12 inch figures we only see three of them and I'm not the huge like biggest fan of these. I probably to be honest won't pick up any of these. Um, I really like the 6 inch ones but they just look kind of skinny. They look more like toys which obviously I know what these all are. But I think they could look cool but first is Buck which obviously we're getting Buck with Halo 5 Series 2 McFarlane, so it'll be cool to have another Buck, and he comes with an assault, ri an assault rifle, which is more accurate to like what he has in the game. Um, then we have a Chief, obviously, with his Halo 4, Halo 5 armor, and that looks, I think, I don't have anything to say about it, they all look super skinny, and then we have a Athlon Spartan, a red and black Athlon Spartan with a recruit visor, and a battle rifle, which, a bl just straight up black battle rifle, so obviously they changed a couple of the colors to like fit their figures more, which I think is fine, I don't really care, I'm not like, I don't care if they have to be exact to the game, but I think these are pretty cool, I don't like them as much as the 6 inch ones, just because the like, I just am not the biggest fan of the design of them and like how skinny they are, but I still think they'll be cool um, to be on display. Alright, so now we're getting into some really cool stuff, starting with the Tyco Halo Warthog Oni Anti-Tank Radio Control Vehicle. So this is really cool, it's basically, obviously, it's like pretty much a remote control car, but it's, I, as you can see, there's the Warthog, a black Oni Warthog, similar to the ones that you see in Warzone and Halo 5, it's got the Oni symbol, and it's got a turret which I don't know if you'll be able to like the turret will work I assume it would since it seems like the bullets are just kind of sitting there but obviously you've got chief inside and you've got the little uh, I guess controller that you use to drive it around we've gotten these in the past um, they're really cool I remember buying one a while ago but I lost it so I may pick this one up probably not because I don't know like how much I would use it but I may just pick it up to put it on display because it does look really cool and this is the first time we've gotten something like a Warzone specific stuff as an action figure. Continuing with the remote control cars, now we have the Tyco Halo Warthog Light Reconnaissance Radio Control Vehicle. So this one will be selling for $30, so $20 cheaper than the Oni one. And the Warthog Light Reconnaissance Radio Control Vehicle is fully functional with backward, with forward and backward right left steering capabilities. So pretty basic stuff, not as advanced as the other one. But as you can see, it comes with a red Warthog with a green, I assume that's Master Chief, even though that is way too green to be Master Chief. But obviously, there's the controller, pretty basic, just another one, a little bit cheaper. Um, not much to say about it, it's, it should be pretty cool. Okay, so this is something that I think is really awesome. It's a Halo Energy Sword. They'll be selling for $50, so that's kind of pretty expensive, um, similar to some of the other stuff here, but 
LFX and motion activated SFX deliver lifelike Halo experience. So motion activated, which is awesome, includes Try Me feature, like most toys, recreate epic Covenant versus Spartan battles with Halo inspired Covenant decoration and design. So obviously there's not much if like you can tell by looking at it right now. It's motion activated. This will be really cool. I know people make Halo armor, they make like costumes, they dress up. This will be something that they'll definitely be able to use. I hope it's not too short cuz like the, with the picture it shows right now, it looks like it's kind of short. Um but maybe not. Maybe that's just kind of the scale they show, but I assume they'll also have this at display tomorrow and when I'll be able to see pictures with people near them to see kind of the scale of what it's like. So again, stay tuned to the channel if you want to see what those pictures are like tomorrow. But I don't have a lot to say about it besides it looks really cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like, see some like reviews of it. And it's motion like activated and it's 50 bucks, but still that's really cool. And it's something kind of unique that we haven't really had with Halo toys and merchandise before. Alright, finally the last thing is going to be a Tyco Halo radio control vehicle. And the product title is pending right now, so it doesn't have one. But it's $30, and it's an all-new Halo radio control vehicle that's fully functional with forward, backward, left, right steering cam uh, capabilities. Now, with the pictures it shows, it does say Tyco Halo Wars 2 radio control vehicle. So, obviously, we don't really know anything about Halo Wars 2 right now, but obviously from this picture, it's got the basic Halo design, up, down, left, right. And it looks pretty much like the Tumblr from The Dark Knight, so there you go. I don't really have much to say about it, we don't know enough to judge it, but it looks cool, it's, hopefully that'll be something in Halo Wars 2. Um, if I didn't really play Halo Wars, so I wouldn't know vehicle specific to it, but if this wasn't it, tell me down in the description and tell me what you think this is, and your thoughts on all these overall. That's the last figure, um, the last, sorry, the last car, and like I said, all these will be on display, so stay tuned to the channel if you want to see pictures of this, Player Kai, and McFarlane, and leave comments down telling me what you guys think about these figures and if you're happy that Mattel has a new deal to produce Halo toys and if you think these will be better than the McFarlane ones if you wish that McFarlane would like hurry up and make better figures and more figures and just what your thoughts are on them in general. Alright guys, thanks for watching Majestic Gaming.